just, uh, we took the V piano out on a 40 city tour and uh, actually was able to take, um, take, take the keyboard itself off the stand and put it into this, um, this uh, piano case that we have. So it looked killer, but it also sounded great. And we did this whole part of the show where we did these Andre Crouch, uh, this sort of a tribute. So we did three or four songs and the response, I think, I think the thing that always jumped off the, off the vinyl for me when I'd listen to Andre was the, how percussive and how like responsive and cutting the piano was, you know, it was way out front in the mix and he just, you know, he played it like a freight train. And I think, you know, get, getting on stage and you got that adrenaline going with the crowd and the interaction going and, and, and you dive into one of his songs, you know, uh, to, to, to feel like the keyboard was almost saying, hey man, I could give you more if you, if you need it. As opposed to having gotten on other keyboards where you feel like the keyboard is directing what, where you can go, how, how responsive, you, you know, you can get. The V piano for me seems like it's just unlimited. Like, feel free to, feel free to push it harder. It's sort of, I would say it's like, um, it's like having driven, you know, a decent sports car your whole life, you know, and knowing sort of where the governor is or where the ceiling is, and then getting behind the wheel of like something with crazy horsepower and just realizing, hey, I. I'm going as fast as I could go right now, but knowing I could probably push this further, it's, that, that's probably the analogy I'd give it. I discovered the V piano because I was, um, I was a bit of a snob around another keyboard that I used to play a lot, and I really liked, it was mainly I liked the, the feel of the keyboard, and I liked what I could get out of it. And, uh, and it was you who said, well, then you gotta try the V piano. And um, of course you would say that, right? And then other guys that I know and respect are like, dude, this piano is killing anything else you've played before. So at, at, uh, at the request of my friends at Roland, I actually was in Nashville and, and went into a guitar center. And uh, it was the first time I'd, I'd, I sat at this keyboard and played it in a guitar center. And uh, man, I mean, immediately, you know, Aaron Lindsay, who's my best friend and my longtime collaborator, uh, went nuts about it. And of course, anytime somebody who you know is very opinionated about certain things, and he's a legitimate piano player. I'm like, I'm a hack, but he's like legit. And he's like, this thing feels and sounds amazing. When we started messing with the ambiance and, you know, just, it, it was like, it's, we could keep going, you know? And, and I think the, the mark for me is when you could sit down and just start playing things almost effortlessly and then you start, as a songwriter, I love it because good sound and good feel inspires creativity. And so I can tell you, this, this sits in my home, in my little music room, my office, and uh, I've composed many a song on this thing, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. You know, for songwriting, I like, um, I, I'm, I'm assuming all the, all the numbers are the same, but for me, it's 26. I like it, impactance. And I think it's because for, for some reason, this particular patch, you can really feel the hammers. So it, it, it you, you know, it's, it's, it seems a little more accented with, with the hammer setting. And it just feels like a real piano. And, I don't know if you can hear that, but... And it's, I think it's that immediate response that jumps out that just lets you go places. So I, I, I really like using that. I'll, I'll kick up the ambience, ambiance in it a, a bit. And it just feels like you're in a big old studio somewhere, you know. On stage with my band, um, I've been using 15 a lot 
which is called All Silver. And I've, I've made a couple little changes to it on mine. Uh, and mainly it's just when you got all that music rolling off the stage um, and, and it's on, you know, the, the few songs that I'm driving, kind of really want that, you know, that cut through thing. And um, I probably ought to do a little more research as to what the model of this piano is, but it, it works every time. Um, especially if it's like... Uh, like you could just hear it kind of pound through a bit. And um, with, with live worship elements and, and the way I lead, I tend to... I tend to try and r ride the wave a bit and kind of keep the throttle on <laughs> a little more than some of my contemporaries. And I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, if, uh, I don't know what it does for the crowd, but I like it. <laughs> so, um, just even like, just in like uh, big, like. Um, on the resonance I can kind of even lift that up where it'll and I've, I've taken it up to 28 here so it's just kind of got that almost provides its own its own additional sustain just based on the frequency that it's hitting you can do the same with the hammers but um, I'm, I'm constantly you know I'm one of those guys that the monitors could be perfect and I'm still not happy. So, um, and I think that has to do with the throttle that I just talked about. And so I'll, I'll always be sort of adjusting and, you know, adding, adding a bit here and there. And as other instrumentation comes in, it's like changes a little bit what you can get. So having the equalizer on board and being able to just, I need more bottom here. I can go right to it and, turn this little value knob and I'm, I'm rocking so I'm happy about that I, I would say uh, it's sort of like good musicians attract good musicians um, and I, I I haven't I have yet to meet a church that goes uh, we don't we don't need anybody else you know I think every pastor I talk to is always looking for a really really great you know kind of lead musician somebody could really tie the band together and you know uh, and and I would say having having good equipment uh, certainly becomes attractive to good players as well. And, uh, I, you know, I will just say it this way. The, the, the musicians that I've been hanging with and the keyboard players that I've been hanging with uh, can't get enough of the V piano. So it is attractive. And, and I think especially when you when you got legit players, like guys who can really, really play, it, it does. There is something to be said for getting the response that you need. And, and having options in those responses. And I think the thing about the V piano that it's all pianos. You're not having to scroll through and around other stuff. It's, you know, it's a piano. And then you got, you got several different uh, versions of that. And, and even in the ones that you do have, you can, you can make your own changes to them. So I think um, it, it looks good, you know, uh, uh, as far as just, just the, the vibe of the look of it. You know, it doesn't, it's not an eyesore, and at the same time, it's not a big, massive, you know, seven-foot grand, but you can get that sound out of this, for real. Legitimately, I mean, I know every year somebody puts something out saying, this is the closest thing you're ever going to, uh, this is the closest thing you're ever going to find currently right now. There's, there's nothing better out there. <laughs>